Hey guys, welcome back to your simile team. Today I'm going to discuss about importance of rheumatoid factor. Um, uh, this is uh, important for your USMLE examination, but uh, you will not get direct questions on this, but uh, rather you will get uh, indirect questions. So before starting, this is, this is very very small topic, and uh, before starting this topic, I would request you to subscribe to my channel so that if you subscribe you will um, be notified for if i upload any new videos because right now i'm covering more videos on usmle ck and usmle step 3 uh, later i will upload more videos on uh, step 1 so this is a very small topic okay if you have any questions or if you think i made any mistakes uh, i apologize for that and uh, i want you to comment and i want you to send me a personal message and if you have any questions if you want any uh, important topic to be discussed uh, please let me know so that uh, i will try my level best to help you okay starting with this rheumatoid factor let me start okay uh, this immunoglobulin M, that is IgM antibodies directed against the FC fragment of immunoglobulin G, IgG, that is altered in its territory structure are called rheumatoid factors. So this is not the question they are going to ask what is rheumatoid factor but it's general, general information. Okay, The rheumatoid factors are used as a marker in individuals with a suspected rheumatoid arthritis. So most of us know about this. The rheumatoid factor is used in the diagnosis of a rheumatoid arthritis. There are many diagnostic criteria for the rheumatoid arthritis. Uh, I will be uploading uh, more videos on that uh, about the rheumatoid arthritis. Okay, so uh, the RF results are positive in approximately 75% of the patients with RA. Although RF is not uh, etiologically related to RA, so what you need to remember is the importance of RF. That's very important because. Sometimes in US family you will get confused with the uh, uh, RF uh, uh, what you call uh, questions. Okay, uh, the high RF titer indicates a poorer prognosis. High RF titers indicate a poorer prognosis as the patients with a higher RF level tend to have a more severe disease. Patients with nodules or a clinical evidence of vasculitis usually have positive RF results. RF results may be positive in patients without RA. That's very important you need to remember. These are the list of diseases I'm going to tell you right now. Take a pen, just write it down or replay my video again and again. You will be perfect. That's for sure. Okay. Your aim is to score high, right? So write it down. This is systemic lupus erythematosus, polymyositis, tuberculosis, syphilis, viral hepatitis, infectious mononucleosis and influenza that's it guys this is the video about the rf if you have any questions please do let me know thank you so much for watching my video thank you take care